Here are some of my favourite things that I got for Christmas 2022. Brand new pair of GHDs. I've had mine for about five or six years now. You cannot go wrong with GHD straighteners. They are one of my absolute favourites. And for those who don't know me, I also curl my hair with straighteners. So I'm so excited to create new curls, new looks over my hair with these straighteners. A new hair dryer, you can't go wrong with a new one. So this is the Shea Professional Hair Dryer. It's kind of like a dupe for the Dyson. I'm so excited because I've always wanted one of them Dyson hair dryers. So I'm just so excited to try this one out. It's got all the different nozzles in as well. Oh, I'm excited. New eyelashes. Um, I stopped getting my lash extensions about a year ago now. Um, so I've just moved back over to the falsies, which I've just fallen back in love with. Um, I have been tempted to get extensions again, but at the moment I'm more than happy just wearing falsies until I decide to take the plunge again. But yeah, Morphe. Love Morphe as well. My grandma got me these. You know, buying false lashes is always a risk, but she's done very well with this. So this was a joint present from like a family friend for me and my boyfriend Ryan. Um, a bit devastated that I've got to share this one actually. <laughs> Oh, I might just hide it from him. This is the Armani Icicle Stella Eye Pigment. I've never actually owned any Armani makeup before, but look at that. I did put my finger in um, when I opened it to kind of test the pigmentation, but I will definitely be doing a video on this because, oh my God, it just doesn't do it justice in the pot. Right, I'll do a makeup look. <laughs> Coming up soon. More Armani goodies. This is the Eyes to Kill Classico Mascara. This is mini. Just got to see the size of it. This would be perfect if you're for weekends away or just popping in my handbag. Just to top up the eyes as the night goes on. A little nice little portable size and it's in the colour black. The last of my Armani makeup goodies. This is the Lip Power. Look at that red tint. Oh my god. Look at that. I'm thinking this will be perfect for like Valentine's Day. So I'm thinking of doing a Valentine's makeup look using this because it just, oh, it's almost too good to use. Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume, which is one of my favourites. So this comes with the 50ml and the 7ml little travel size as well, which would be perfect for going on holiday or popping your handbag for nights out rather than taking the full bottle out. And a red lipstick as well, which I will swatch shortly. Maybe do a makeup look with that as well, comparing it to the Armani maybe. Lots of red lipstick this Christmas. But I love this perfume and it's Eau de Parfum as well, so it's long lasting. Finally got my Kurt Geiger trainers that I've been obsessed with for like a good month or so now. Look at the colour of them. Ah, I'm so excited to get out wearing them. Just a shame that I live in Manchester and it's always raining and I just know that these will end up getting ruined at the moment. So I'm going to save them until the weather is a little bit better. Ryan done good this year with my Christmas presents, but look, he also got me tickets to the Harry Potter world. We just binge watched all the films a couple of months ago before Christmas. So this was an absolute surprise to get to it's actually go to the Harry Potter world down Watford, London. So that'll be such an exciting weekend away. <laughs> so this was just a quick look in what I got for Christmas and some of my favourite goodies. I also got more like the New York Yankees beanie, some Lush bath bombs and some body shop goodies as well. Um, but I will be doing some makeup looks coming up very, very soon using my new makeup. So stay tuned for those.